There's not much more defeating than something leaving a bad taste in your mouth. For example, recording a video for an hour, going to sit down and transfer it to your computer to edit it, only to realize it's gone from existence. That very specific example that definitely does not apply to me at all is very similar to the worst LEGO themes out there. With every great product, there's also some byproduct that comes with it. It could be as simple as crap on the San Francisco streets that I have to step over, or more grandiose like failed LEGO themes. And today we're gonna delve into that crap and find out what theme is truly the worst out of all the themes. Normally when you listen to someone ramble on and on for an undisclosed amount of time about what they think is the worst theme, it's about what they think. Their personal opinions, their subjective mind on the matter. We're looking for objectivity here, not some wishy-washy feelings of why you don't like Chima because they're anthropomorphic animals that kind of turn you on. You might not like Bionicle, but that doesn't make it the worst theme. But to find out what really does make a theme bad, we need to find some objective measurements. Today we're going to work within the bounds of the LEGO system, or more accurately, the system of play. The LEGO system, when originally bulleted out, had six key examples, but what we're really going to boil down and pinpoint today is compatibility. LEGO's foundation is built on bricks from yesteryear all the way back in the 50s working with bricks today. And if they're not compatible, then it's not in the system. Sure, any toy company can make some G.I. Joe or Hot Wheels, but once you're done with it, throw it in the trash and move on to the next thing, but not with Lego. You can take any set from any theme from the shelf and work with any other theme and compatibilize the crap out of them. That's a word. So with this, we just knocked out almost every single theme out of the running for worst theme ever. That includes things like Duplo, Quattro, Bionicle, and Technic. While they're not necessarily the classic system that we're known and used to, they still work really well. Bionicle has ball connectors that fit with Lego ball connect receptors. Technic works in all sorts of variety of ways. Lego fits on Duplo, Duplo fits on Quattro. It makes the world go round. That leaves us with seven themes that are almost not Lego, but still technically are. Muji is a popular store in its home country of Japan selling mostly paper goods, but can go on the weird ends with like cheap flimsy flip-flops. Much like the IKEA collaboration with Lego a few years back, we had even further back a collaboration between paper provider Muji and Lego plastic provider Lego. It was this weird amalgamation of hole punch paper with Lego studs fitting in between. So it does fit with the Lego brand, but it also has weird not Lego properties to it. And even though it is compatible, it's it's just barely reaching in there. Snap, on the other hand, is an unholy attempt at Lego competing with another popular construction building toy, Connects. And it really didn't connect. You can, you can unsubscribe. Looking at this, you can see the clear inspiration between the two brands and how LEGO just didn't get it right at all. Following the trend of stealing and copying ideas, we have Scala, which is essentially a half-breed version of Barbie. And you might be noticing a trend when LEGO tries to copy someone else, it just doesn't work because it's out of their wheelhouse. Unlike Belleville, where all the original mini dolls and parts are all kind of awkward, but very compatible, Scala did a different approach where they said, nah. Instead of having studs shaped like normal circles, they had studs shaped like flowers for some reason. And the only thing keeping this from being even lower on the list was that in this random assorted pile of box art junk that they produced to the world, there were a good number of system bricks in there. Interestingly enough, Scala came out in two waves. The second wave was the Barbie doll. The first wave was kind of this like click it bracelet decoration for your body to make yourself look pretty thing. And that's our next thing, click it. Click it's is like a failed dots experiment where instead of everything being compatible and the only new real parts are like the bracelets, everything's new and hardly anything that's compatible. A lot of these early 2000s bright colors and pop brats figures, which are unreasonably curvy, just don't work with other normal bricks. Some of them do, but most of them were these unique molds that just worked with themselves and that's it and that's not Lego. But what is Lego is what kind of looks like baby bricks meant for Mega Block, but instead they're just unreasonably shapely bulbous studs. Primo was one of the many attempts where Lego tried to get that age graphic of zero to six months old. It fit in that fine timeline of 18 plus and Duplo. But unlike other baby blocks that actually are compatible with Lego bricks, this thing is not. There are a few exceptions out there where people do get it to work with other Lego bricks and even Duplo bricks, but it's kind of a stretch. The only thing keeping this this high or rather low on the list is the fact that there was a conversion block that in took Primo and output Duplo. Thank you Europe for making yet another convoluted system where you have to fix a problem that no one had originally, but you had to make the problem, make a converter to make more problems less problematic. 
Or is that the United States? No, it is Europe because now we have Modulex. Lego bricks are not based on real world building systems, rather they're at a 5-5-6 ratio, while Modulex is at a 1-1-1 ratio, making it significantly smaller than the average Lego part. While Modulex failed at hitting the crowd it was originally intended for, it did hit a crowd and stuck around for a lot longer than you might think. The original ones, despite being smaller, still have the Lego logo, but later on in life they just swapped it to an M and now it's just any random nano blocks you can find at a Chashki gift store. And just like those nano blocks, they're not compatible with Lego bricks. Now people have made some weird attempt at connecting and combining these two systems, but they're more so unholy dark black magic that they're trying to use to get them to stick together. At least with Modulex, we can say people try to make it compatible with Lego. Unlike our last and officially worst Lego theme ever, Jumbo. Lego for a long time has been interested in the demographics of one to five years old. And they've attempted to do it many times before the Duplo brick. The first attempt being, in plastic at least, was the Jumbo brick. And unlike Duplo, I'm gonna say it again, it's not compatible with normal Lego system bricks. Like I mentioned earlier, Modulex, there are plenty of examples of people trying to combine and marry the two together. But with Jumbo, there is not a single picture I could find anywhere of anyone trying to figure out how to put these two together because they're just so different. The only rumored case where these were used with normal Lego bricks was as a filler and additional structural support in the original Legoland models. Outside of that, they don't have any use for anyone other than an odd collectible on the shelf or at a convention somewhere to say, oh look, that's weird. So there you have it folks. Next time you're listening to, talking to, or even watching someone say what the worst Lego themes are, you now know in the back of your mind, not only are they wrong, but they're also stupid.